Hi, this is Pasty's World of ICT, and welcome to part one of our Maker Story in Scratch. Let's have a look at what part one will look like when we've finished it. And that will be the end of part one. Then we'll go to uh, part two, another scene, and have something different happen. Now, if you go to our website, we will have uh, complete screen captures of the code, so you can check it out in detail, and it's commented and explained for both the duck and the cat. But let's go through from the start and show you how we make one of these sorts of stories. So we'll just do file new here in Scratch, and we will have the empty scratch screen with the cat. Now we're going to use the cat, so let's move the cat to a starting position here. Remember, up on the coordinates on the sprite in the middle, you can see where the cat is at the moment. All right, now I don't think you can type in and enter coordinates, but we sort of uh, want to get, know where we want to get the cat, and we need um, the cat to be at a certain position on the page here. All right, so it's going to sort of be down there. Now we need to bring in a background, and the background we will bring in, we go to stage down here at the bottom, click on stage, and then click on the backgrounds tab in the middle here, and we don't want to use the white one, so we'll import one. Uh, we're going to use uh, nature, I think it is, and say OK. And the one in nature we're going to use to start up is called Pathway. All right, so we just pick that one and click OK, and that brings it in. All right, let's click back onto the sprite for the cat now. And you can see in the Costumes tab, it has two costumes, one where it's flat here and one where it's moving. So you can alternate between these two and make the cat run, as we will be doing later in the story. But for now, let's just rename that cat. What we're going to do is give him a special name, cat hyphen S1. That's the cat for scene one. When we make scene two in part two, we'll use the cat, but we'll have a different one so that we can just do the scripts on a separate sprite and not make a mega sprite with all the scripts on it. All right, let's flick over to scripts on the cat and get started with that. The first thing we need is a control uh, when the flag is clicked and the story is going to start. Now, we need to the uh, sprite to uh, get a bit smaller because it's a bit big for that picture at the moment. So on that, we will go to looks. And we might as well just set up the costume to make sure here that it's on costume one. All right, costume one is where the cat is uh, got flat feet there and not running. And we'll use set size. Down here, there's a set size to 100%, and I think if we set our cat to around 80%, he's probably going to look better for that picture, so we'll just do that. And at the, later on, we're going to hide the sprite, so at the start, we need to um, have show sprite, so that the sprite will be pleasant present on the screen, and looking pleasant, of course. So we're just going to have a show, so that's sort of going to uh, get our cat... Um, set up with the right look and the right size. Now, on motion, we can send him to a particular position. All right, so we drag out a go to certain X and Y coordinates. Now, the coordinates which we are going to use, we have already figured out previously. Now, the values that we need are minus 92 and minus 123. We've already figured those out previously. So let's just go over to the right here and click the flag and see how that's going. All right, let's put the cat in position. That's good. We'll just stop that and go back to the scripts. Now, with the scripts, uh, the duck is going to speak first, and the duck is going to be our other character. And so we will need to have in the control here a wait... And the time we're going to need is to wait for three seconds, uh, which will give 
the duck time to speak. So let's get the duck set up now. We will go down here to um, choose a new sprite from file, all right, this middle one, and click on that. And we want animals, so we'll say OK. And the guy we want is the duck, this guy here, and we'll say OK. Now the duck's way too big and he is facing round the incorrect way. How are we going to fix that? Let's go over to the duck sprite here in the middle. The first thing is we will rename him to be duck uh, under hyphen S1. All right, he's going to be the duck for scene one. And on the duck, we're going to set up similar things to what we set up for the cat. When it's clicked, we need looks, and we're going to make sure the duck is showing up on the screen because later on we're going to hide him. Now, the trouble is he's facing the wrong way, so we need to go to costumes, okay? And we're going to have to import the duck again. So we just get ourselves another copy of the duck and bring that in. And this one we are going to um, leave as it is, and we're going to edit duck one. And there's a little thing up here, flip horizontally, and if we use that, the duck will flip around the other way. All right, so duck one is going to be our duck facing to the left, and duck two in the middle here will be our duck facing to the right. Let's go back to the scripts now. So we will need to be setting the costume to that duck one we just set up, which is the one where it faces left. Now, the duck is uh, way too big, so we need a set size, and the size which is going to work for this is 60%, all right? You'd have to play around with this yourself. Okay then, now let's get the duck off to his initial position, so we use go to certain X and Y coordinates. Now, we've worked out some coordinates previously. They're going to be 101 and minus 107 is going to work well for that. But if you wanted to play around with it, what you would need to do is, let's click the green flag now on the right and see how we're going here. And those coordinates are okay. Now, let's say you wanted the duck to be over here, closer to the cat. You would move him on the picture and then you can go up in the middle here to the sprite and find out his X coordinates. So these X coordinates are X is 21 and the Y coordinate is minus 107. So in here we'd type 21 and change that to minus 107. All right, if the duck was starting back in the garden, move him there, go look at the coordinates 14 and 12. In here, change the script to 14 and 12. Anyway, let's just um, click this green flag and play out so that the duck is in position. All right, the next thing we need to do is we'll, the duck is going to talk first. So we'll go to looks and we'll have the talking start happening. Now, the duck is going to just ask the cat uh, what's up. And the cat's name we're just going to call Scratchy because he's a scratch cat after all. So the duck will say what's up Scratchy. All right, then we need to go to the control, the orange blocks, and we need to drag out a weight here and set that to wait for three seconds so that the duck can wait for the cat's reply. Okay then, so we need to switch back to the cat sprite now and have the cat talking. So we're clicked onto the cat sprite and the cat now needs to say something to answer the duck. So the cat is going to say, uh, not much bird. All right, so in here we just type not, not much bird. All right, and then we need to go to control and we'll have to have the cat wait again and the cat will wait for three seconds. All right, so we'll change that to three. Now, uh, another thing is here, you can change the speech time. Two seconds is long enough for a short thing that's saying, if you were saying a longer sentence, you might need to bump that up to three seconds. All right, let's click the green flag and see how we're going. What's up, Scratchy? And the cat will answer, not much bird. All right, we're going to now uh, repeat uh, a lot of this talking stuff with um, saying and waiting. And we'll do the same thing on the duck sprite and get their conversation finished. Now, we're just going to pause um, the video while we do this because we don't have a lot of time left. We've are under a 15-minute limit for YouTube. All right, so we've added some more talking to the 
cat with some delays for the duck to answer. On the duck sprite, if we click on that, it is saying some questions to the cat and waiting in between for the cat to respond. So if we just play this on the right hand side where we're up to so far, we've got them talking to each other. The next thing after this is going to be to have them both leave the garden. All right, so the cat is going to say, follow me, and we need to move the cat. Now with the cat, we're going to make him glide over into position, then he's going to walk out of the garden. Um, after that happens, he'll tell the duck that he's gone now and the duck can go and the duck is going to glide over, slide over, glide, and then glide out as well. So we need to work on the script for that. So let's get on to the cat script. Now we don't have a lot of time here. What we're going to use is motion. Uh, follow me is what he's just said and we're going to glide for one second and the coordinates we've worked out, we've kind of moved the cat around and worked out where we want him and those coordinates happen to be uh, 10 and 0, all right? And you would have to position your cat and work out where you want him in your character. Now, as he moves away, we're going to change the size, okay? In looks, we'll change the size um, by minus 15. We're going to reduce him down in size and put him to minus 15 so that it looks like he's going into the background, all right? Then after that we're going to have him do some walking now how he's going to do walking is like this we will have a repeat loop he's going to repeat and we've already worked this out that three times should do the job and we're going to have him switch costume so let's just set this up outside of the loop for now he's going to switch costume into costume two um, which is walking position. Then we need a wait, and we need to wait. Uh, we've worked this out. The speed we want him to walk at, 0.1 seconds. He will then uh, move 20 steps, so we go to the motion blue ones. And again, we played around with the size here and worked out that 20 was a better value than 10. And then he will change his look and switch to costume one. I'll just drag that out. So we'll change that to costume one. And same sort of thing. He will uh, wait for 0.1 seconds and then he'll move 20 steps. And then we'll get him to hide just at the end. Now we'll just pause while we set up the rest of that code and then we'll show you when we get back. All right, the nice thing about setting up your code outside the loop is you can just click on the code and the cat, if you're looking at the right there, will do what we want him to do, all right? So he's moving. So let's just put that into the repeat three. After that, we just need a couple more things. The looks are he's going to hide, so it looks like he's made it out of the garden. And then he needs to tell the duck that it's time for the duck to move. So we need to broadcast a message. So in the orange blocks here, get broadcast need to click on that and say new and the message that's going to be broadcast is bird leave garden all right so it's going to tell the bird to leave the garden now i'm really short on time here so i might have to just code up the um, bird code and then come back and explain it to you what we've done okay then here's the finished cat code where the cat um, does his repeat loop and he walks along and that'll get him to the edge of the screen then we can hide him now once he's left the garden and disappeared we broadcast bird leave garden if we click on the duck sprite now the duck's going to uh, hang around waiting to receive this message when I receive bird leave garden. When it does, we've kind of worked out timings and coordinates here to make it look as best we can quickly. Uh, it's going to glide across to coordinates 2 and minus 81, shrink it down a little to give it a bit of 3D perspective, have it glide a bit more further to the left and reduce it again. Then we switch to costume duck 2, because remember duck 2 in the costumes tab here is where it's facing to the right. That'll get him facing to the right we glide him off to the edge of the screen and then we hide him so you can see this code uh, on our website check the YouTube details uh, to see where that website is and you'll be able to code this in let's just have a quick look at how part one uh, looks now that we're finished click on the green flag here over the right they start talking to each other with the time delays to time it properly all right the animation when they move isn't the greatest but look it's good for a basic quick job here so the duck says sure the cat now will move off first 
the cat walks, broadcasts a message, and then the duck is able to move. And that's the end of part one. 